Hello and welcome back to Nearly Nerds. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past few months I have set myself the challenge to make sure that I get all of the trophies in the future games that I play if I'm really enjoying them. If it's a game and a title that I've not really enjoyed and I didn't really get into the story, I'm not going to bother. However, if I found myself really enjoying the game, then I kind of want to feed that energy back into the game by getting all of the trophies within that game. Kind of a personal thing that I set myself. I did a very similar thing when I got all of the items in Elden Ring. So I set myself a challenge to get every single outfit, every weapon, everything that you could get. I got on Elden Ring and it kind of took me around the entire map and places in the map that I've never seen before even though I've played it countless times. So for me it's kind of that reason to put extra time into the game and also it gives me a bit of an itinerary of things to do within the game. So that is what I'm doing and I've been doing it for the past few months and my current game that I'm doing it with is Space Marine 2. So to do it you have to kind of go through multiple different modes and if you've played the game you already know you've got the story mode, you've got the eternal war mode which is essentially like a, play a player versus player mode and then you've also got the operations mode which is a uh, a bit of a, a side piece to the story mode. But I'll get into that in just a sec. Uh, so that is what I've been doing over the past few weeks. And so far, it has been really quite enjoyable. However, I'm coming to the point now where I am kind of struggling with getting it done and finding the motivation to do it. Now, what I will have to remind you guys is that I am currently back in work. So... I have got less time to game, whereas before I was focusing on content, streaming, and being able to have a lot more time gaming, so it was a lot easier for me to do it in the past, and probably I had a lot more energy to do it too, um, but obviously now I have less of that time, so maybe that is also feeding into this a little bit. So let's get into it, let's talk about it all, but before I do, I want to remind you guys to hit that like video and to hit that like button and the subscribe button, two buttons for you, means the absolute world to me. And let's get on with today's video. Now, like I said, over the past few weeks, it has been Space Marine that is my current hurdle. And to do the story mode was pretty straightforward. One thing I will say is the story mode is rather quite short. So if you're into a game that has got a long story, maybe this game isn't the best for you. However, the story is really engaging. It is really good. And unfortunately it does come to the point where it is a little bit shorter than what you would like it to be however because it is so good you kind of look past that but you get a lot of trophies just by completing the story alone obviously every chapter you get a new trophy you also get trophies for completing things like executions and also tagging each enemy which mostly you get by doing the story mode and then you have to do a couple in the operations mode uh, and like i mentioned with the operations mode how it works is uh, in the story mode, you have your main team of three that go through the game and complete the story. And in the background, there is another team that is basically aiding your team by doing things in the background that will make alterations to elements of the map that will help you in the long run. For example, there's one where uh, you've got to make sure that you, you get the, the Hive Tyrant. Um, so basically, the background team kill the hive tyrant and that means then in the main game you have a part where you're fighting like an absolute horde of enemies and um, but when the hive tyrant dies all of those enemies die and it makes your life a lot easier just one thing that i can sort of feed back to you of how it works uh, so yeah the operations mode kind of works hand in hand with the main story and it is a really really quite a cool function of going from the story mode and coming to this and kind of seeing it from a different angle it's like a different point of view and i really quite enjoy it but they do come with their own trophies it comes with trophies that require you to a level up a character to full level um, which is level 25 which doesn't sound like a huge level um and you've also got to level up your weapons. And there's a few other things that you've got to do in this game mode. For example, one of them is to complete one mission in Ruthless mode, which is currently the hardest mode. And to do so is very quite difficult. I don't know if you guys have played it, and if you have played it, you know just how difficult this game can be. Playing it in Veteran, which is 
des- described as the the version of the game that the developers want you to play. Um, playing a veteran alone is, is very quite difficult at times, and it has just a relentless amount of enemies. Uh, so to do it in ruthless mode, where they pretty much upgrade most of the enemies to uh, bigger enemies and more difficult enemies, it is quite a difficult thing, and they require you or, or kind of recommend you to be level 20 to do so. And obviously, being the, the max level 25, you kind of realise just how, how difficult it can be. But that comes with almost like an RPG-style skill tree. Uh, although you don't get to pick like a different branch you get to go in, everything, every level you get has its own uh, skill point that you put it into. So it's not like you get to pick different ways of building your character. There is kind of a set way to build a character. However... That is kind of the way it's set out. So to do this, it means that you have got to play the games uh, multiple times on multiple different difficulties. So there's four difficulties in total, six missions. So it means that overall, if you want to complete it in each level, uh, you've got to complete it 24 times. So it does get rather repetitive. And then if you move over to the Eternal War mode, which is basically multiplayer, it's just multiplayer games. There's three multiplayer games. Um, I No point in asking me what they're called. It's Annihilation and two other game modes. I can't remember because in all honesty, all you want to play is Annihilation. The other two game modes are nowhere near as exhilarating. Um, and in all honesty, even the the, the Annihilation, which is essentially like a deathmatch, um, it, it can get repetitive. There's not that many maps to choose from. And it does get to the point where you're you're grinding for the trophies because two of no three of the trophies sorry are to complete 10 games of each mode so you've got three modes you've got to do 30 games and i've never felt so aware of how many games i'm playing in a multiplayer game ever like i used to play call of duty like it was my religion and i would play i don't know how many games in a day and i wouldn't even cross my mind like it just wouldn't even bother me about playing maybe 50 odd games in a day i played 30 games in these game modes and it possibly took me around two three days just to do those game modes because I was just so bored playing them that I had to go away and do other things because it just it was a grind. It was a it was a long grind. The long matches, I think they're around sixteen minutes long if you're doing the the like capture the flag it's not capture the flag. Basically you have zones and you've got to like protect the zones. Um but again, it was a, quite a difficult thing to get through because it wasn't the most exciting and it felt like a drag. It felt like something I had to do rather than something I wanted to do. And that, for me, was quite disappointing. And it does kind of lack different versions of game modes. And I know that there is a there is a roadmap that has come out that has explained that there are more, uh, more I think, operations. It hasn't said it specifically as operations. It says PvE missions are coming, um, which I assume is going to be a, a new operation. Um, but they have announced that there are going to be more multiplayer modes coming as well, which I think is really needed in a game like this. But... For the current state of the game, it is getting to the point where it is pretty much you do the story and then once you've done the story, you're just in grind mode because there's nothing that is particularly dragging me in to play it anymore. And that's really disappointing because, like I said, the reason I've put so much time into this game is because I enjoyed the story so much that I wanted to feed that energy back into the game. But I found it to be a a real grind and very, very repetitive. And I kind of want to know what you guys think with this and if you guys are bothering with the completion at all. Because if you're not bothering with completion and you are just kind of playing with your mates and enjoying it as as that element i think there is uh there, there is that niche to it that you can just enjoy splatting all of the enemies and i kind of feel like it fits that uh hell divers 2 kind of feel where you do just kind of get the enjoyment of going out and having all-out war but there is that that element of repetitiveness that i find also came with hell divers and i kind of feel like it's gonna kill this game 
before it really releases all of this roadmap of of additional content and that is a concern for me it is a bit of a concern because i really rate this game i really think this game was worthwhile if i would argue the price because it was a 70 pound game and if you want to do the the season pass it's another 30 i think 30 35 pound whatever it is so you're looking at over 100 pound for the for the game and the season pass for me it feels a little bit overpriced especially when you look at the base game Game because if you think about it something like call of duty that gets released every year gets a lot of abuse for having a very similar setup it pretty much has a short campaign and then you're pretty much then thrown into doing the the multiplayer and this is a very similar thing and it has meant that the getting of trophies has, has gone from being a fun just ticking off missions and enjoying the missions to becoming something that i have to spend a lot of time dragging through now and that's a little bit disappointing and it's kind of taken the fun out of the game for me and it's kind of put me in to review mode because i didn't ever put out a review for this game i felt like i'd missed the mark i i played it uh, i think a couple days later than when it came out so a lot of people had already put out reviews and plus they already put out the no I, i'm sorry ignore me i'm lying i played it on day one however they had the pre-order bonus of having it for a couple of days before that was the issue um obviously a lot of people had already played it and put out reviews and were playing it on twitch so i felt like there wasn't really much point in me doing a review um but since playing it and trying to put into the the word work of, of completion i have kind of realized that this game isn't as strong as what i thought it was and i will i will 100 say the story mode deserves real high scores uh, but once you come away from the story mode and look at it as just a game as a whole i think it is quite a poor poor game overall i think it is very repetitive and it kind of it loses its it spark very quickly once you've done the story and like i said the operations element is really a cool element and i actually think it deserves fa a fair amount of points just for that um but for me i kind of feel like they've let themselves down in the repetitive nature of the game if they just had more versions of multiplayer modes I wouldn't have this argument whatsoever because at the end of the day, the operations mode, I feel like has to be a bit of a grind. Although they definitely need more missions for it to be less of a, of a, like a, a I mean, repetitive is the only word to explain it, but the, the operations mode is lacking on missions because once you've done six missions and you replay them again, and if you ever get a failure, you've got to replay it all again because you don't get much XP, which means you're pretty much back into the grind. Um, yeah it's quite a painful game to play and i'm finding that it is very similar to hell divers in a sense that when you first play it it's it's really exciting there's nothing like it and then you get to the point where you're like right i've done this before and i'm doing it again and i'll do it again the next map and i'll do it again the next game um yeah i'm 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 curious of what you guys think now the game's been out for a while uh just what you guys think of the game and if you also agree with me and if you don't agree with me that's absolutely fine at the end of the day we're all going to have different opinions um but i just kind of want to get a bit of an idea of what people think about it because yes there's a roadmap and i'm really excited for horde mode and i think once all of this stuff gets added into the game this game will be pretty pretty much what we wanted but i think right now in its current state it is a little bit stuck at being a bit repetitive and a little bit in a bit of uh what's the word like sinking sand um and i do i do kind of worry that it's going to lose a lot of its player base before they add a lot of these new things um which may bring people back in the future to come and play it again once they add these things uh but the fear is, really speaking, it would have been nice to just re release this game with this included and had the season pass be additional story content. Because the season pass is just, I mean, a lot of it's just cosmetics. I think all of it is cosmetics. Uh, I might be wrong, but I know that the free downloads are like the player versus everyone missions and the and the PvP modes and the horde mode. Um, but from what I can see with the DLC stuff, it is pretty much just cosmetics. And... I mean, are we not going to kind of hold that against them? That there is like £35 for, for different cosmetics in a game that like was pretty good at giving you cosmetics by playing the game and download not not downloading sorry playing the game and getting coins and using it within the game. But then they also have the the spending money element 
on on the the season pass. I don't know. For me, it seems a little bit wrong, and I feel like they've kind of got away with it a little bit here. Um, but I also think it's a brilliant game, so I'm really kind of on the fence of how I feel about it because I really enjoyed the story. I just hit that that little bit of a, a bit of a, a badge a badge in the road, a little bit of a. a I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just got to the point now where I'm not enjoying it as much. So I am gonna I am gonna stick it out. For anyone who thinks I'm a quitter, I'm not a quitter. I will get 100% in this game. Um, but I am telling you right now, if you are someone who is a trophy hunter and is looking at Space Marinas, a nice fun little grind. Uh, it's not a fun grind. It is a very repetitive grind. However, if you wait a while, it might be a lot less of a, of a grind and it might be a point where there are a lot more options for you to play and a lot more things for you to do and it might feel less of a grind. So that's what I'm hopeful for. I'm <laughs> So that's what I'm hopeful for. I, I really don't want to put like mud on the game i think the game is brilliant but like i said it's just got that repetitive nature now that i feel like it's going to be removed when they add stuff but i kind of feel like that stuff should have been added at the beginning to make it less repetitive for the time being um and yeah i really i really enjoy the game i want to put that out there but i just feel like it needs it needs a lot more so let me know what you guys think in the comments you might think i'm an idiot and think that this game is perfect and that's fine uh, you might fully agree with me and you might even think it's worse than what i'm saying um um, but I really want to get that conversation going and know what you guys think. And remember to like the video if you like this video and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I am working on an Elden Ring video currently, a lore video that will be coming out in the next few days. Um, I'm just currently writing the script and making sure that I've got all the research there. Um, so that will be coming very, very soon. But uh, I kind of want to get back into specifically the gaming talk and... Yeah, I've really missed just making regular content and, and not having to think about work every day. So currently, like I said, my mind is a little bit frazzled because I'm I'm in work every day and I'm coming home and trying to make content. And it's become a bit of a, a difficulty for me to be able to get that motivation to do both. Um, and I'm constantly writing down things that I want to make and putting it off because I don't... I, I kind of feel like I'm behind everyone at the moment because everything that I'm trying to get out is... Uh, it's coming out late and it means then that I think, well, there's no point in me making the video because people have already spoken about this. Um, and yeah, it's getting me it's getting me a little bit frustrated at the moment. So I kind of want to have these conversations with you guys and I will bring some very new content to you guys very, very soon. And yeah, take care of yourselves and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks.